President Biden's visit to Arizona computer chip facilities this week underscores the Grand Canyon state's position in the emerging U.S. semiconductor ecosystem. With TSMC, the Taiwanese chip giant, building north of downtown Phoenix, Intel expanding southeast of the city, and suppliers from around the world moving in, the region is already creating thousands of new jobs. Some of those new TSMC employees are being recruited at U.S. universities and trained in Taiwan. Here at Mesa Community College, students at a semiconductor technician boot camp are this day learning about tools and completing a work order. I've always been a bit of a, a tech geek, so I saw the opening and I was like, that sounds like something interesting I would enjoy doing. So I'm just exploring it. The program has graduated more than 300 students since June, attracting some people who might not have seen themselves in manufacturing. It's new work. It's exciting work. It's building work. It means that they're having an opportunity to make a difference. Tennessee Jackson joined the program after working in call centers. She just got hired at Intel as a semiconductor technician. What inspires me is technology, um, knowing that every single person needs it. Meeting the workforce demands of Arizona's burgeoning semiconductor sector includes a 3,700 square meter clean room at nearby Arizona State University, where students, companies, and startups work on hardware innovations. It is part of Arizona's approach to attracting some of the $52 billion of semiconductor funding in the new federal CHIPS and Science Act. CHIPS and Science Act is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This is the moment. This is the moment to build out capabilities, infrastructure, expertise. We're bringing this capability back into the U.S. You've got to have a workforce ready to engage it. With 30,000 engineering students, Arizona State is the country's largest college of engineering and a driver in meeting next generation demand. And that takes a different mindset shift about how do you leverage technology? How do you teach in a way that you weren't taught? That is, you have different strategies for the way that you reach students and how do you do that? That's a constant conversation here. Mark Lee, a PhD student from Kazakhstan, doesn't know if he wants to work at the companies setting up shop near Arizona State, where he is studying. He's interested in finding new materials other than silicon for chips. Want to solve problems and want to create technologies that will be commercialized and, you know, like very quickly, like in the just like a couple of years. It's that kind of know-how policymakers say the U.S. needs. Michelle Quinn, VOA News, Phoenix, Arizona.